Dang, that's crazy though. I don't know guys, this car been acting weird lately. Bro, my tire literally exploded. Look at this shit. <laughs> but good thing we keep a spare tire. <sighs> I really don't got no tools on me. That's why y'all gotta keep y'all a tool bag. Guess what? We're gonna use this jack instead of that. All right, guys. So I'm gonna use this original jack uh, right here compared to that one. And it's so cool about this car, you can put it in the slot right here. All right, so now we're using the handy dandy. Probably need to loosen it up first. Guys, I'm so toolless that I have to use an adjustable wrench. So all you gotta keep tools in your car because you never know when things will happen. It's pretty interesting. I don't know if this gonna break. We're gonna see. I ain't had no tools. Only tool I had was this adjustable wrench. This one won't work. I'm always prepared no matter what. Got it loose. All right, guys, so we got the handy dandy factory uh, jack. And now we're gonna take this tire off. Damn. 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 I kind of figured that this tire was probably gonna give out because me and my brother, we noticed it. Well, I noticed it when I checked last week hope the wheel ain't bent the wheel don't look bent uh, i think the wheel might be bent and it's crazy because i was talking about getting new wheels earlier with him that is so crazy that's why y'all keep y'all tires checked anyway you finna throw that bad boy on and hopefully this tire could be saved if not or a rim, if not a wheel. This one more heavier compared to that one. And make sure y'all keep spare tires on your too. So we got the new wheel on. Well, spare. Twist on like it's supposed to. I'm kind of scared. I have to drive real slow. The 
should be able to go through. All right, good thing I wasn't far from home, but these lug nuts right here is pretty shorter uh, compared to the original wheels that was on here, which was, I'm pretty sure, longer. So I have to get the original lug nuts because, yeah, it's not gonna work. Like they thread, but they not threading. And I'm not trying to risk it or anything. So good thing I'm at home. That's if you have a spare tire, make sure you have the original lug nuts. So I'm gonna make sure I keep the original lug nuts next time and just go from there. Y'all yeah, see how much threads we got? I'm pretty sure compared to the other wheel, it's like literally threads is probably about light right there. And we're not going to risk nothing like that. Guys, so you know it's crazy? I've been seeing other people on the side of the road with their uh, tires off. I'm going to be all ashy now. So, but it's cool. We got the tire right here that blow in the front of me. Got to get a thumbnail. That's crazy though. It's like I said one more time. It's crazy how I was talking about this um, changing tires, and then come to find out this tire is bad. I think when we had did that wheel burnout, uh, well that was like a couple of months ago. I haven't been going too crazy though, even though I have been putting it on the ground. But hey, things happen. Uh, at least I was prepared. Make sure y'all be prepared to not be like me. Um, have the original lug nuts. Well, I was I was 99.9% uh, prepared, so that's a good thing. So I'll be fine. And this is, this is like a brand new tire. These tires are brand spanking new. Had them on for like maybe a year, if I'm not mistaken. But they've been on it for. But it seemed like every time though, I guess that tire on that side always go out. Cause I had the original tires uh, went out when my mom was driving this car. And the tire had just went flat. So I had to end up calling like insurance. Uh, I, I was gonna do that, but I mean, I already got tools and stuff for the bit unnecessary trying to wait, but I had to wait now because I had to grab So my mom room. picked me up. Luckily, no, I, I was system, close so. to town and all, and I was able to get the correct size lug nuts that we need to secure our wheel. All right, guys, shout out to my mother. Uh, like, like I said, I'm like, down the road but like a couple miles uh like out in the middle of nowhere i just got my hair done and stuff so shout out to her for uh able to get me uh we do have our longer longer lug nuts and stuff so um good thing we were able to react quick and not be on the side of the road for many hours a shout out to the engineers of Mercedes back in the day, man. Y'all really did y'all thing uh, with that jack. Y'all really did. And it's so simple, easy. You lifted the car with nothing. And you can, it, the both sides got it for the back and uh, front. That's pretty damn neat. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to y'all when I start driving this car. But like I said, look how look how shorter that other lug nut is. So we we know this lug nut right here would not have worked. So always try to keep your original stuff, even after you get aftermarket wheels and all that. Try to keep the original stuff because it will save you at the end. And another thing, it's so satisfying wrenching on this thing. We ain't gonna go too tight, but we won't go tight. Some of these things I think have dirt on it too, so it might be kinda kinda a pain. Alright, time to roll her down. I already tighten it up, I'm gonna tighten it up again. Make sure it's tight.
wonder if we're gonna have a big old gap front gap that's all she wrote guys and this thing right here should just slide out they kind of All right, guys, so the car is moving. I don't know, guys, this car been acting weird lately. Things been going down left and right. It really has. So I got my to just take care of the issues. Make sure we don't have no uh, issues. We got it tired. Uh, we gotta get this engine light clear for that coolant sensor. So we got a couple things we need to do. But hey, always have a plan Stay with a plan B, you never know when you're needed. No, just with anything. Cause it's uh, happening before, I have a video on a YouTube channel where I was towing somebody uh, truck with my Tahoe. And you know me, I'm going uh, the speed, but I probably should have been slower. Uh, because they wasn't like, uh, trailer tires it was like tires off of a ford so it kept blowing it blown twice on us luckily was able to still make it with three wheels luckily so that taught me a lesson to have a jack because we were sitting around waiting for a jack and all that and it's just crazy how these things just go but hey man i hope y'all enjoyed the video come join the garage and if you stay this far and if you return it man Know, drop your comments input or you don't have to drop anything that's uh, cool we still gonna keep driving i still love this car it's still my baby and uh let me know what type of wheels i should put on this car or try to keep the original ones so but i may need to get this car straight the interior and all that is perfectly fine um except for the roof liner and little things yeah, just a roof liner, and I'll probably get my glove compartment handle uh, just to screw this door. I see y'all, man. Y'all be safe out here. See y'all. Have a good one. Uh, stay tuned for the Tahoe and other bills. Let's get it done. And uh, it's one thing taught me, like, just because something happened, don't mean you have to give up. Like, be positive. Because I was real excited and all that for some reason. I jumped out of the car like I was, like, ready. And like I said, shout out to my mom for being able you know, to help me uh, pull through. And I guarantee if I was all the way on another side of town, like or the state, I know I would have some help. And if I didn't have help nearby, I would have called my insurance company to at least get me uh, somebody to come out here and help me with my tire. Other than that, 